synopsis for Season 5, Episode 1 of Greenleaf. With Calvary's imminent demolition, Lady May and Bishop seek a sign from God, Jacob digs into the family's mansion's past, and Grace learns the real reason why Bob Whitmore is so invested in keeping the Calvary congregation under his wing. All right. Hey guys, it's Tutu. Now that I've given a quick summary of the episode, I'm going to tell you what was my favorite scenes from this episode and what I hated about the scenes from this episode. So, and then the last thing I'll do is give my predictions of the next coming episodes um, to continue. So here we go. I'm going to start with Sophia first. When she goes sees Dante, that's the breakup scene. So, you know, Sophia sees Dante. We know that. And then, you know, she's like, what's wrong? He's like, oh, um, you know, my ex-girlfriend is basically here. And she's like, okay, so are you guys getting back together? And he did a long pause, like a really long pause. But anyway, why I like that scene is because the maturity that Sophia had in it, she was like, listen, you don't know if you guys are going to come back together or not. You, you can't say for sure. You really can't. And that's what I like about that scene because the way she spoke and she wasn't even angry. She was calm about it. And a lot of girls are usually not calm about these things. They'd be like, what? Why didn't you tell me this? I'm leaving you. I'm this and that. I'm not saying every girl does that, but some do. There's some people who can't, you know. All right. Now, let me tell you why I hated that scene. Your current girlfriend is coming to see you at your house. And you don't even call to be like, hey, my ex-girlfriend is at my house. Can we reschedule or can we discuss this later or something or whatever? So that's why I hated that scene. I was like, really? I'm like, guys do this all the time. And then you see this kind of thing on TV and you're like, why is this happening? And you're just like pissed and you want to like punch that guy because like you can imagine that happening to you and you're like, really? So that's why I hated that scene because I was just like, how are you going to do Sophia like that you know she's coming over to see you your ex-girlfriend Nikki is there and you don't even have the decency to call her so that was my con I already told you my pro okay now we're gonna be moving on to my second favorite scene when AJ and Grace and Aaron are in um Grace's room and Aaron is like by the way, you guys are free. Your son is free. You know, none of you guys are going to jail. Not you, not you. So, like, and Grace and Aaron, Gr sorry, not Aaron. Grace and AJ are sitting there like, um, when, how, you know, like, I'm a bit confused. And I was just like... That's why I love that scene because it was just like, finally, AJ is going to be happy because he's been walking around looking miserable and, you know, we'll finally see him, you know, slowly start, you know, being excited and slowly trying to forgive Grace and all of that. Why I hated that scene, though, is that I was like, since when does Greenleaf do a supernatural crap? Because when you remember the... You remember the guy from last season at the end of last season of season four where he suddenly appeared like at the property, at their property? I was like, uh-uh. I was like, no, I don't believe in that. I was like, is that it? There's no way God brought a random angel from heaven to like come. So I didn't like that scene because... I also didn't really like that scene because they didn't, it's like they gave us a little bit of information of who that guy was from last season, but they didn't give us enough. Like, it was kind of like, okay, we know he's some guy who rubbed a bunch of pharmacies and then that's it. 
that's all we know who he is and i'm like okay you guys gotta give us a little bit more it's like they gave us something but they didn't give us something you know what i mean it's like they gave us information but they didn't so that's why i kind of hated that scene but i loved it because you know you know like AJ got some good news. AJ and Grace got some good news that they're not going back to jail. But I don't like the scene that they did when they they didn't explain who that guy from the grave was. I I I was like, you guys got to give us a little bit more on that so we can just, you know, so we can start putting two and two together. But you know what? I digress. Moving on. Now, my third favorite scene <clears throat> was the Bishop and Lady May scene when Bishop comes into the dining area and Lady May is, you know, doing her little fasting thing. And what Bishop said really, like, stuck with me. I was like, wow, it takes a grown person to be like, listen, my ego got in the way. I had too much pride. But after seeing what you did with a day with Lady May, that, I mean, I need you. Like, you're the one who has to, you know, take over the church. You're the one who has to lead these people back to God, you know? Not me. My my time is done, but yours is great. And he's like, listen, the only way we're going to be able to do that is if we get married again, get remarried again. And I love that scene because it took bishop so much strength and courage to be like listen i was a foolish guy i acted like a kid and now i'm coming to you to apologize so we can move forward and you know find a way to rebuild a new church together as a married couple why i didn't like that scene is that you know if they didn't if Bishop didn't come to Lady May to resolve that issue, I think I think I would be annoyed. You know, why I, I really didn't like that scene at all is because it, it had to take Bishop losing everything for him to, you know, come to Lady May and be like, listen... You were right and I was wrong. I'm like, it really had to take you losing your church, losing, almost losing your family, almost getting a heart attack for you to be like, yeah, I messed up. I messed up real big. But you know what? Moving on. I'm just glad that they're rekindling. So that's what matters, right? All right, moving on. Now I'm going to be talking about Jacob and Carissa. The this is the scene where Carissa and Jacob are in the bedroom, um, in the mansion. What I loved about that scene is the fact that Jacob, you could start to see Jacob kind of coming into his own a little bit, and I really like that because it took it took like three, four seasons for him to finally be like, listen, I've had enough of you. You've killed my self-esteem since we've been married and i'm sick of it so i really i love that scene because you could see jacob really like saying like listen we can't keep doing this like we really cannot keep doing this what i hate about it that what <clears throat> sorry what i hate about that scene though is the fact that carissa is too much sometimes like you don't want you don't want him to divorce you, but yet you're not doing anything to not make that happen. You're not even apologizing. What I hated about that scene is that I was just, I was tired of seeing Carissa's pride. I was tired of seeing her evil, you know, evil self. And you remember in season one, she was, she was controlling. Then in season two, she was, you know, she got a little bit more worse. And they couldn't handle the church, you know, in season two. And, you know, she was pissed that they had to move. And she kept blaming Jacob for that. And then in season three, you know, 
like Jacob just got fed up to the point where he cheated and kissed Tasha Banks in season three. And, you know, Carissa just doesn't know how to handle that. And then in season four, too, she was her like terrible. She became 10 times more worse. And so I was just like, I'm sick of Carissa in that scene, in that bedroom scene with Jacob. And I'm so glad that Jacob is now like, okay, you know, like, I'm sick of you. Like, we, we, we have to separate. Like, this can't keep happening anymore. And, you know, so I, I loved and hate that scene because I'm like, I'm tired of seeing Carissa play the bad guy. She's been playing the bad guy for, like, ever, you know, and what and but Jacob finally coming into his own, I was like, ooh, I love that scene because it was like, finally. I'm like, Jacob is still that little boy who's waiting for everyone's approval. And I'm like, you need to man up. Let's go, you know? So, but you know, enough with that. Now, I'm going to talk about the AJ and Grace scene. So... Grace is coming into the room like, AJ, AJ, where are you? Like, hun, answer me kind of thing. And so she noticed the bathroom door locked. I said, okay, why is the bathroom door locked now? Tell me why AJ was on the floor. I was like, oh my God. I think I I hated that scene because... I'm like, I was tired of Grace going through crap. I was like, oh my God, I feel like Grace is always going through a tragedy. She's been going through a tragedy since season one. I was like, you remember in season one, like she just, she couldn't get over her sister's death. Then you remember in season two, Grace, you know, killed her uncle Matt that tried to kill her again too. And then you remember in season two where she was helping this police officer and then he got shot in front of their church and then like she had to be okay with that. And then you remember in season three when her daughter like lost her eggs and stuff and she had to, she felt bad for her and watching her daughter, you know, go through that made her feel sad. And I was like, and then you remember, and then season four, everybody knows, when Grace almost went to jail, and I, like, close, was, was very close to going to jail because of her, her, you know, forgotten son. Like, I was like, Jesus, the Lord, Grace is always going through crap. That's why I hated that scene. Why I like that scene is because I think we're gonna, that scene shows us that I think we're going to start seeing AJ slowly, slowly trying to, like, figure out his problems, you know, figure out his problems. And he's not always going to, AJ's not always going to do that in the best way. But that scene shows us, like, okay, AJ looks like he's trying to figure out his problem. It might, it might not always be in the best situation or in the best way. But he's realizing, like, he has a problem. So that's why I like that scene with AJ seeing Grace on the floor with his hand cut. I really like that scene. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you my predictions. So now we're going to move on to my predictions for next week's episode. And here it goes. I predict that Grace and Darius... Are, I predict that Grace and Darius are going to um, address their feelings. I didn't talk about Darius in this um, in this video, but it's one of my predictions because I feel like Grace and Darius are. I don't think they're gonna get back together, but because knowing who Grace is, I don't think that's gonna happen. But I will say that they're definitely going to address their breakup, address why they broke up throughout the season. And so I think we're going to see that at some point. I didn't talk about Charity either, but here's one of my predictions for her. Obviously, this one is a no-brainer and I think everybody can agree. 
I think Charity is going to go back with her family. It probably might not be for like maybe three, four, five episodes or so. Or possibly, it, well actually no. It probably might not be for like at least maybe like three episodes before the season ends. It's probably not going to be for like a few episodes. But I definitely think Charity is going to get back with her family. Alright, my last prediction um Sophia and Zora are gonna make up I think everybody knows that one too Sophia um and and Zor and Zora are gonna make up why I think that is because once Zora finds out that her parents are getting divorced I think the person that she will definitely want to go to to help her with this kind of situation is Sophia so I think that's how they're gonna find a way to make up and so, yeah, I mean, that's a little what I liked about Greenleaf. What was my favorite scene in Greenleaf? The pros and the cons and everything. That was basically it. Um, I, What I would have to say is I thoroughly enjoyed everything. I loved it. I was like, wow, Greenleaf is coming in hot. Like, I knew certain things were going to happen, but oof. I did not think it was going to happen that fast. I can tell you that. I didn't think, you know, Bishop was going to propose to Lady May in the first episode. I knew that was going to happen at some point. But I didn't think it was going to be right in the first episode. So I was like, Bishop, go on with your bad self. I didn't think... I also didn't think Sophia was going to break up with Dante either. I was like, whew. I knew that was going to definitely happen because she was going through some stuff. But... I didn't see that happening in the first episode, at least not yet anyway. And yeah, so that's basically it. And thank you so much for listening. Please subscribe, ring the, um, put the ringtone notification on so you can know when I upload new videos every week. And comment or ask me any questions. I will be willing to answer anything. Thank you so much. Love you guys.